What's going on people? My name is Jack Riss, Jack Co. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about the easiest video editor uh, slash video editing software of 2018. Hands down, the easiest software for you to learn. If you're watching this right now and you want to start a YouTube channel, you want to start making short films, you want to do music videos, you want to do anything basically, but you don't have the video editing skill yet, this is by far the easiest video editor to to at first learn until you actually move on to a more advanced one. But pretty much you can handle everything that another one really can. It's just not as, uh, I, I guess, reputable to be fair. But screw all the talking without further ado. Let's jump into this video. Okay, now we've actually loaded up and we are on the computer. You guys want to go to mobavi. Dot com. Don't worry, that's a little bit of a weird name. You can find the link down below in the description. And uh, just to prove how this actually is the easiest video editor in the world to learn on at first, their slogan is literally, video is easy. I, I don't really know how much more clues you could get that this is definitely going to be the easiest video editor. It is also available for Windows, for Mac, and for iOS and Android. Um, of course, I'm on Windows, so we're just going to be using the regular Windows version. Just go ahead and click download for free. Of course, I've already got it, so I'm actually just going to cancel that and quit off of the website and load up the actual video suite itself. So go ahead and just download that, install it, and then you guys will be exactly here where I am right now. Like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole installation process because it's very simple to install a program. Once this actually loads up, this will be the interface. Very simple video editing interface, and uh, it's pr pretty simple to actually import clips. You just drag your files here. So I'm actually going to be opening up a folder that I have uh, from a club that I filmed on New Year's of just loads of different clips. And let's just drag in, drag in five clips, see if any of these are going to do the job. So yes, it is a little bit slow loading stuff up. Down here is the scale to adjust uh, the actual size of our timeline. And there we go. Seems to have loaded these clips up. It's definitely a little bit laggy. Okay, now I've actually found a clip that is looking like it's gonna be all right. Pretty funny clip of this dude right here, just pretty much dancing and going absolutely crazy. <laughs> With the lights going everywhere. And essentially, I'm gonna wanna just try, just try my luck at a basic edit, right? So I'm just gonna bring one more clip in there and we'll see what we can do with the effects and the transitions on this. Pretty much just see how we can make these two work together. So boom, there we go. Now we got a clip of a girl from behind who's just dancing and a clip of this dude right here who's also just dancing. They're both pretty lit up in the club, clearly having a decent time. This guy's got a big ass pitcher in his hand. Damn, look at that. Damn, he's getting drunk. No doubt. I don't even know if he, he made it home that night. You know what I mean? That's a big picture right there. So let's actually start having a look. And this is actually going to be my first time using this completely. I just installed it and then came, started the program, and uh, now we're just going to have a look together. So excuse me if I'm not an expert uh, by any means. But right here, it looks like we've got uh, the effects with filters, actually. So they have a variety of different filters that we can play with. There's a balloon filter. Do I just drag these on? So it looks like I just drag it on. What does that do? Okay. <laughs> so I guess that could be cool for a New Year's um, sort of sort of thing. We've dragged that on and there is just uh, balloons going up and down. It's a little bit amateur looking, but if this is your first video editor, that might have looked dope to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> that might have looked like a great effect to use. So by all means, don't be put off by my reaction to this. Of course, I'm using, um, you know what I mean, better programs, I guess. But clearly there's a lot of various different filters you could put. This one's a glass mosaic. Let's, let's put that on, on the other clip and let's see what it's looking like. Just a variety of different stuff. Come on now, it, it is laggy as hell. This looks kind of cool. I guess it's sort of like a mosaic, almost like a bug eye kind of effect. We're still not fully feeling it though. It doesn't seem like anything that's really out of the ordinary. You know what I mean? It all seems a little bit amateur. <laughs> This filter is just ghosts. I'll leave that up to you whether you think that's cool or not. I'm not feeling it entirely. Now we do have a couple transitions and actually, I might have missed out because I'm sure some of these filters, they're bound to be okay, right? I mean, surely they have to be, right? So let's have a look at a light streak. What's the light streak gonna do? To a club video, that could make it cool. Oh, this looks all right. Mm, okay, interesting definitely added a little something 
to it, but overall my opinion on those filters right now is that they're looking a little bit amateur. So let's move on. Let's have a look at the transitions. Um, so I assume the transitions are just going to be nice and easy to use because it is, of course, yes, the easiest video editor in the world. So I'm just going to drag the transitions in the middle of the two clips. And like I said, I never used this program before. I assumed that was going to be how it is. And it's the easiest video editor. So it was exactly how I thought it was going to be. Just basic logic. Now let's have a look at it. Okay, that's kind of cool, but we kind of want to make that a little bit quicker. You know what I mean? Let's see if we can just, uh, oh, uh, transition duration. There we go. So do we want to make that one second? Yeah, we can have a look if we just double the speed and see how, see how that's looking now. A second is kind of long for a transition though still. Come on now. Okay, definitely does need to be a little bit quicker still. 0 0.5, that's what I'm looking at. Hey, there we go. That's the half a second transition. Now, the only thing so far off the rip, I will say, guys, is that it's kind of laggy right now. Like, when I click back, it's lagging to actually load up the display picture. Boom. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's, that's probably the coolest thing we've done so far. Definitely looks all right. Let's play that one more time. Have a little look. Have a little look. Okay, so it goes down, and then it transitions through. Apparently, we can't just move these guys along. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to put some text in there and now see if I can move it along. So it's looking like this is more of a title to be featured on a clip. So let's click on it. It, it looks all right though. So that's basically like a uh, template already. That one looks very cool actually. Let me bring that over. Right here with the titles, that's very, very nice. They have a lot of pre-made cool looking stuff. So already that right there looks like uh, sort of like a 2D graphic that would take someone a long time to create. You know what I mean? It's very nice, very clean. And of course, you can just come through and change the text. So I'm going to change that to Jack um, is, could, could it change is, is, is um, making vids, <laughs> making, oh, making, let's have that now, hold tight, vids. All right, Jack is making vids. So now when we play this, is it going to have any animation or anything like that? Or is it just going to come straight up? Oh! Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Built-in animations to it. It pops up like that. I'll play that one more time in case you missed it. Cold, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Here we go, here we go. It is laggy though, I'll give you that. Oh, Jack is making vids. Boom. I love that. It's cool, it's definitely cool. It looks like there's a timer here, the trendy circle, a uh, couple different kind of uh, 2D styles that you can bring over. Definitely some basic stuff where I assume these basic ones ooh, scroll down, fly in. Just a couple cool different animations. Hey, definitely interesting so far. Now let's move on to the next tab. Yep, stickers. Let's have a look. So they got a couple emoji stickers. Let's put that over here. And that's literally just an emoji, basically. Definitely kind of cool. I guess you could decorate your image with a variety of different... Oh, they got like a like one. That's cool as well. Yeah, like one, ice cream one. Oh, that's like the Instagram like. Eh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. You know what I mean? They got a camera. They got a bang. They got the balloon, the gift. So a variety of different stickers that you can come in with and I guess just position around your video, right? And in a nutshell, that right there is the stickers tab. Yep. <laughs> Looking all right. Just a variety of different kind of weird little graphics that you could put on the screen. And the next tab is call outs. So let's just delete all this stuff real quick because it's looking, a, uh, it's, it's getting a little bit laggy. That's the only thing I'd say is a downside of this program. So there's like an animated oval, a gradient arrow, an animated check mark, animated arrow. Let's have a look at this animated oval. So if we put that maybe like right by this girl's head or whatever, we'll just have a little circle get drawn around this area. Let's play it from back here. Boom, let's have a look. Definitely, definitely laggy. Boom, oh, oh, damn. Look at that, the oval gets drawn around this girl's head. And, um, <laughs> ah, it's so simple, this stuff, I swear. I'm pretty sure that's gonna actually be the end of it. Uh, if we over, it, the last couple tabs are pretty basic stuff, tools, so if you select a clip, 
This is where you can use your keyframes to animate stuff and to actually move stuff around yourself. Down here is chroma key. So for example, if we wanted to do a green screen effect, this green right here, say we wanted the tolerance to be zero for the green. Let's have a look what this does when it applies. Boom, this would of course chroma key out everything. I'm, I'm gonna turn that off though, yep. And the last tab is the pan and zoom stabilizer or the highlight and conceal. That's the end of the video, people. Uh, basically what I gathered from that video editor right there is the reason I believe it is uh, universally known as the easiest video editor uh, to actually learn and use is because they've pre-made everything for you. As you saw, that was my first time using it and the general uh, theme was that everything, uh, all your effects, all your transitions, all your stickers, uh, anything else that they have had available, this thing that just drew itself all of it's pre-made, so basically it skips a lot of the video editing skill that you would normally need to, uh, on a more reputable program, where you would actually have to create this sort of stuff like this from absolute scratch. So, hope this video actually helps you guys out, showing you the easiest video editor. Personally, I believe in 2018, their slogan was, was even video is easy or something like that. Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack Rose, Jack Cole. Have a nice day and goodbye.